Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and today is a very exciting day. We are going to work together to create a sunburst light in the nursery. I will show a couple of inspiration photos here for what we're actually aiming to do and what we're aiming to create. I'm going to be using one of the existing lights that was actually in the other room swapping it with the light that was in this room, adding, of course, our sunburst uh, medallion underneath it. So I'll have everything in the description below as far as what my cuts are and which dowels and everything that I purchased. I will let you know everything did come from Hobby Lobby, so you should be able to do a one-stop shop to get this done. If I have any additional parts I have to run out and get, of course, I'll add that in. What we have here is some dowels. These dowels are a little bit thicker than, you know, their friends, which are a little bit thinner. And then I have even thinner still. So even thinner still. So we kind of have three different widths of dowels here. So we've got kind of the thickest ones, We've got a medium and we have a thinner dowel. We have to make various cuts with these different dowels to make our design work. Other pieces that we have here is of course our base. The base plate for the medallion and then the light will come out from here. The ceiling, this will be mounted up and then the dowels will be coming off of this. So this is kind of our hub. We did purchase an, a little ring just to add again additional detail there. Other items that we picked up, so they're called split balls and they were the one inch size. So they're little tiny circles that are actually split in half. So we're going to attach these to the dowels, but this way I didn't have to have, you know, fully round ones and put holes in them. I can just kind of glue these to the dowels themselves. Our pointed stars, just a few on there. I know a sun doesn't technically have additional stars on it because the sun is a star all of those details. And final item is some spray paint, which is this metallic brass spray paint. Um, I actually cannot spray it myself, being that I'm pregnant, the fumes and everything is just not good for me, not good for baby. My husband will be the one to spray paint everything. You're going to be thinking through this with me a little bit as we're going along. So um, don't think that I have everything planned out and perfectly ready to go, because I don't. I have it up here, but I haven't necessarily sketched it out or anything, so we'll just be playing with the dowels a little bit and seeing what we like. We need to cut a hole in him, so that might be a good place to start. Where the screws go in on the actual light, I want those screws to be able to actually go through the wood as well to help hold it onto the ceiling. holes now. There's a hole in that one and a hole on that one. Again, light, dowels, ceiling. So what I really want to do is take this layout and wood glue it onto the back of here. If I wanted to, I could have gotten those like little U-shaped things and put them around the dowels to make sure each of the dowels stays in its spot. But I think that's a little bit of overkill since this is purely a decorative piece. 
table diagram on the back of the medallion. dry and solidify the wood dowels to the wood back medallion. Yeah, next steps is going to have Eric spray paint it in the morning and then I can install it up on the ceiling. Exciting. Okay, welcome back to day two of this light installation. So I let everything set overnight, took the tape off the backs and I shouldn't doubt how powerful wood glue is. I was really concerned that it wasn't gonna hold everything, but truly it was designed to hold wood to wood. So everything was holding in place very nicely. Wanted to work on getting the little details into place on it. Of course, you can leave the medallion as it is. You don't have to add any additional accoutrements. But I did wanna add these little balls to the ends of the little dowels and add the little stars throughout just to add some more whimsical interest to the fixture itself. I wanted to file down the back of the little half balls a little bit so that they would sit without slipping off of the smaller dowels. The stars didn't really have that much of that problem, but I really wanted to make sure the little balls didn't kind of go all cockeyed. So we filed down just a little slit, a little groove in the back and would glue those on once those were set and good to go, waiting about 20 minutes after putting the glue between the round ball and the dowel. I sent it out with Eric to get spray painted. All right, so there was a little concern with these wires previously on the old fixture. They were basically, the coating was coming off and exposing wire. Didn't want that around the wood, so I'll replace the wires. Also going to put a little piece of plastic around it to help protect the wood a little bit more. So he finished spray painting front and back, and I'm going to go ahead and try and install this light. Change out of this sweatshirt into a paint sweatshirt and try and get this puppy installed. Wish me luck. That's a wrap. It's installed, which is really exciting. I put the globe in finally, which I realized you hadn't actually seen the light with the globe. You saw the other one with the three globes, but not this one with the one globe. So I'm happy that it worked out. I did have to mess with the wiring quite a bit while trying to do the install, but I'm dealing with 1970s house wiring and you might have a more current home. I did have to, you know, take it down once because the holes, the two holes for the screws that I had drilled into the wood, they were actually slightly cockeyed. So I had to take it down and re-drill to make sure I had enough room, enough play, if you will, for the screws to go up into the box that holds the light in place. So um, another option to avoid that is if you actually attach the medallion to the ceiling and then touch the light attach the light afterwards instead of trying to use the same screws for both so i just didn't want to do that so i used the same screws so the light box is holding up everything i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed making this with me today and again, if you are interested in making something similar, all of the um, instructions and everything will be down in the description box. 
And yeah, thanks so much for sticking around. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you like it. Turn on those bell notifications. You know the drill. Thanks again for being here and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.